Um, thank you very much to Carol and Donna and the UUP for, for bringing me here. Um, I want to show you a couple things first. So most of the world has paid maternity leave except for Papua New Guinea, Swaziland, and the United States. And so I'm going to talk about um, how we did this at the Professional Staff Congress. So the Professional Staff Congress of the City University of New York, PSC CUNY, represents more than 25,000 faculty and staff at CUNY and the CUNY Research Foundation. In 2009, the PSC won a paid parental leave benefit, the first time that public sector employees in the state of New York gained paid parental leave. So this project examines two aspects of this victory, how important the stories of individual union members were to the winning of this benefit, and how the methods used in this fight can carry over to other fights, including yours. What I hope to be able to do with this project is to document the history of this victory. The stories were an important part of making this happen. Also, I want to use it as a blueprint for future actions. So what worked, what didn't work, what could carry over to other issues, what other actions still need to be taken, and so on. And I hope that this will be an inspiration to others like you. It was a demographic issue. There were just huge numbers of us, really, percentage-wise, that, you know, this was a, a very live issue. And of course, not just for women, right, but for men who wanted to to leave as well. But the PSC did make a real commitment to getting paid parental leave until 2004, when the union newspaper, The Clarion, began a series of articles related to the issue. So we started featuring it in our own union paper uh, in late 2004. And that was <coughs> something that we uh, had decided that we were really seriously fighting for it. And one of the ways to um, you know, make CUNY aware, make other people aware, about what's at stake is to to feature it in the newspaper and to try to build um, build a sense of what our demands are, build a sense of why they're important. In 2004, the cover article of the Clarion, entitled Parenting at CUNY is a Struggle, focused on the story of Carol Ann Daniel. And at the time, Carol Ann Daniel was an assistant professor at Brooklyn College. When she had her second child, she took six weeks of sick leave but it wasn't enough, so she had to take an unpaid leave, which made her lose her health insurance. Later, around 2006, Queens College became the campus where there was the most activity around this issue. There was a cohort at Queens College, which included Julie George, Karen Strassler, and a third woman who I'll talk about in a few minutes, Kina Lipsitz. What Julie attributes to luck has to do with her personal story. She timed her pregnancy so that her daughter was due at the end of May, at the end of the spring semester and Julie taught right through to the end of the semester. And as she grew bigger and bigger with her pregnancy, her students really were aware of her situation. One of her students was the editor of the Queens College newspaper called The Night News. And Julie says that he was appalled that she was teaching under the circumstances and that CUNY faculty didn't have paid parental leave. So he assigned a student reporter to write a story about this issue, interviewing Julie. Julie says the reporter wrote a very good article and somehow, WNBC, the local NBC television affiliate, picked up the story. Okay, so the story appeared on WNBC, and the fight progressed from there. There were a variety of actions that were taken at Queens College and CUNY-wide. At that time, the PSC was in negotiation for a new contract. Among other things, the PSC invited people who were concerned with particular issues to come to the bargaining table. At one session, a woman brought in her months old baby and stood him on the table and explained the issues. So they've never forgotten that moment little baby standing there, and just the eloquence of people just telling their stories. I mean, they, we didn't prime them, we just said, tell, tell your stories. And they just were so magnificent and so real in their desire to, uh, you know, contribute to CUNY and also have a life uh, that they just stunned them, I think. Another venue for this issue was a mass meeting that was held in October 2007 to rally for a contract. Over a thousand union members showed up, and different issues were spotlighted. Kina Lipsitz, the third Queens College faculty member that I mentioned before, spoke at the meeting. So she said, as a new mother and parental leave activist, I've heard a lot of maternity leave horror stories recently. I know a woman who had to leave a seminar 11 days after she gave birth because she felt like she couldn't say no to her chair. So in February of 2008, there was a Valentine's Day action on several CUNY campuses, including mine and, of course, Queens College. 
Parental leave activists handed out heart-shaped lollipops and asked students, faculty, and staff to sign postcards to CUNY management, which said, CUNY, stop breaking our hearts. In 2009, the PSC won paid parental leave. So um, this was in the Clarion. Uh, the current contract includes a new benefit, paid parental leave for full-time faculty and professional staff. It took effect on March 20th and is retroactive to July 17th, 2008, the date of the contract settlement. In 2009, there was a letter of agreement, um, and then a letter went out to the PSC members. And then in 2011, 2011 there was an updated side letter of agreement on paid parental leave, which made paid parental leave permanent. And the parental leave benefit provide, provides for up to eight consecutive weeks of paid time off immediately after the birth or adoption of a new child. For a child's birth mother, the period of paid leave begins immediately after the end of any approved temporary disability leave related to childbirth. Paid parental leave can also be prior to birth if medically necessary or prior to the estimated date of an adoption if needed to fulfill an adoption's legal requirements such as foreign travel. The benefit covers full-time CUNY employees in a PSC bargaining unit with at least a year of service. Also eligible are full-time teaching faculty who have completed at least two continuous semesters of teaching and will become parents during their period of annual leave. What were the financials that you presented administration that swayed them to think that this was a good idea versus an expensive idea? The first thing was um, they created a pot of money. It was $1.5 million. And I don't have a real sense of how much that is in the grand scheme of things, but I think it's fairly little. And it initially came out of what would have been um, back pay. So, you know, we're always behind in getting our contracts and we get back pay for the increases that we should have had years ago. And so they took some, I don't remember what the percentage was, but some percentage of that, they worked out to about um, probably around 30 to $50 per member. And we said, okay, put this there. That's, we're gonna use that pot for paid parental leave. And that's what happened for the first um, two or three years. And then they renewed it. And he was pleased with the response to it and the reaction to it, and um, that's what convinced them, I think, ultimately to say, okay, this is no longer something that we have to bargain for. It's, it's in there. It's not part of our negotiations every year. Thank you. I find your presentation very exciting, um, and I think there's a really clear lesson for us that I would, I would like to put on the table. I think that what we need to do in UUP, and you have given us a really good illustration of that, it sounds like your success was because you convinced the CUNY administration that this was an important thing to do, it would benefit them, et cetera. And the obstacle at the table for the last three contracts, it's been an item, a significant item, is that the governor's people come back and say, SUNY is telling us this is not an issue. So I think, I think it's really important to take the lessons that you've given us. we got to organize our own members at the campus level. I just want to say this was an excellent presentation, and I am so glad that you gave it to one of the meetings that I've just decided to get involved back in the union again, because it is something that we have all taken so for granted that you had. And until you have to use it, it doesn't even become a part of your thought process. So thank you for giving this presentation here. And it is something that I would be interested in getting involved in coming back into the union. So thank you. People can't be denied forever. At a certain point, the people get what they want and what they need, but they have to really unify and fight. And uh, this is a good fight, and I hope we stay in it together and that the next time we win. Thank you.